Hi there, it's Patty from Patty's Crappy Spot, and I just want to share with you what I worked on really quick today. Um, this is one of these Heidi Swap Marquee Love lights. Um, this is the butterfly one, and you can see the butterfly right there. And it all light, lights up, so on the back side, what I did was I Velcroed the little light battery box on the back. So you just flip the switch. I don't know how... It's kind of reflecting in the camera, so I do need to get a good new camera because I'm not very happy with how this one records my stuff. But I just wanted to give you a quick little look at it. Let me turn the lights off and tell you how I did it. And what you do is when you get the marquee letters or butterflies, we also have the letters at work. I've been eyeballing them for a long time, I just haven't gotten them yet because I wanted to do full out Patty's Crafty Spot and that would cost me a fortune. So I haven't done it yet, but at some point that's on my craft bucket list. But I want to give you a few pointers on this. So what you do is when you get the kit, you're going to get a little template like this and it is usually inside. So you pull it out and the paper that I used for the inside of here is from the marsupial stack from DCWV. I have a ton of these paper pads because I just love it. I'm not sure if it's still around or not, but this is the one that I used. And what I did was, <coughs> this is the paper that I used in here. And just to give you a little hint, um, because I wanted certain things in certain spots on it, if you take your pattern and you put it behind what you're gonna cut, like this, and then if you hold it up to a light, um, I'm not going to be able to do it here to show you, but if you hold it up to a light, you can see the shadow of the template come through, and you can kind of line it up that way, and then once you get it to where you want it, just hold it, flip it over, and then trace it, and it works out pretty good doing it that way. And for the holes, I just you know made the marks for the holes on the back, and then I just used a paper punch to punch the holes because the paper is kind of thin you can just pop these lights through so you don't have to take an exacto and cut out each circle exactly the size because if you do it a little you know you just use the punch and you can pop the lights through so you're not going to worry about mix mixing up where your holes go or if it doesn't quite line up pushing it through will do it the other thing I did with this particular paper in the background is I inked all the edges with the distressed ink vintage photo and it's probably hard to tell in here but you can kind of see where I inked it and stuff and then the other thing I did which I was surprised to find out even though I've stared at these things at work like for hours and hours I actually thought these things were metal and to be honest with you I was a little disappointed when I found out they were cardboard but then as I was decorating it, I was like, oh, duh, if it was metal, do you know how hard it would be to decorate or to get anything to dry on the metal? So the cardboard made sense, and I realized it when I was doing it. And I actually liked that it was made out of the cardboard then. It was just that we sell so many marquee lights at work, and they're all metal, I just assumed that these were metal. So what I did on this, it's a shiny gold, and I had used this spray paint on it, Antique Gold from Design Master and it soaked up the gold spray paint so fast that it dried within minutes not even minutes actually I sprayed it literally set the paint can down and I could pick this up and I didn't get gold on me then I used some score tape and went around the, the center of it and I added this really pretty ribbon I had some white flowers in my stash so I also sprayed those with the spray paint um, gold to match and then from the Christmas line at Michael's, they have the Christmas peacocks. And this was a real pretty gold one. And it was just perfect to put perch them on the top of my butterfly. And I think that's about it. I just wanted to pop in real quick, give you a little quick video on my little Heidi Swap Marquee Love butterfly. And I absolutely love it. And I hope you enjoyed what you see. And if you like it, um, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for stopping by.